Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? Hello, guys. Hey, you are here once again. <laughs> here we go again. You are one of the, of the, of the best teacher. Oh, come on. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? How many are we? We're 11. Hello, Jocelyn. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Oh, no, this guy again. <laughs> Class has Believe begun. that we prepared to have you. Really? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see how it goes. We have a lot of details to cover in this module. Actually, this, this model is very interesting. It's a very interesting model. So we'll have fun. Okay, I think we are 12. And let me check the list, the attendance. We, sh we shall be 27. <laughs> okay. What? Yes. We include everyone. Hey, remember to add your full name. Add your full name. It's very important and turn on your camera. William, Isela, Andres, Giovanni, Sandra, Elizabeth, Robert, Luis. Everybody try to turn on your camera if possible. Okay, welcome to Intermediate 3. I'll go straight with the attendance because it's 8.03 already. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. And here yet, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good evening. Excellent, welcome, good evening. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Okay, Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Welcome. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fair, you're there, right? Heidi Eugenia Salguero de, de Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Sorry, teacher, present. It's okay. We it's have okay. issues with. It's okay, Fernando. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Good. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. I'm not seeing you guys, so please say here or present, okay? Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Irene Azucena. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Excellent. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. You're driving, I know. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Wendy Patricia. Okay, good. So, intermediate three. Let's see.
Okay, let's start with the course introduction again. This time um, for intermediate three. So please pay attention. I'm uh -huh. just going to go through the through the presentation as usual. So you are now on the English for Work program. We are in intermediate module three. My name is Rafael Antonio Rodriguez Linares. Everybody calls me Linares at Inglés Corporativo. And just to clarify, if this is the first time you are in these courses, um, this is not in SAFORP. Esto no es in SAFORP. Esto es un centro um, de facilitación um, acreditado por INSAFORP para impartir el curso de inglés para el trabajo, okay? Just to clarify, we are part of INSAFORP, if you want to see it that way. So again, my name is Rafael Rodriguez. You can call me teacher, you can call me Rafael, you can call me Rafa if you want, it's okay. About my educational background, my education background, mm -hmm. I started international relations. I have four years of international relations. I'm certified on a special, a special program with OIT to certified, to certified facilitators, to certified teachers. I have a diploma on TICS to teach online as well with the OIT. Um, and I'm also a certified uh, teacher of the English for Work program or Inglés para el Trabajo, okay? Um, I've worked for 14 years actually <laughs> in call centers um, using English as the main tool. I've been a supervisor, a quality agent, um, a trainer, and also a recruiter, which is what I love the most, recruiting personal. Um, I was a manager at an English academy for a year, and I also started um, a technician, a technical career in business administration um, for two years within SAFORP, which was awesome. Okay, uh, remember, lo voy a decir en español, es necesario que estemos bien claros en estos requisitos. Cuando se conecten a la plataforma necesitan introducir su nombre completo. Cada vez, cada vez, por favor, no fallemos en esto. En el caso de, de personas que se inscribieron tarde, pero están ya inscritos, ¿verdad? Agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre, si se les ha indicado. Eh, es muy importante tener la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. En cada sesión, tener la cámara encendida. Hay excepciones, hay algún que otro alumno que pues estaba... Uh, ocupado y no pueden encender la cámara manejando o algo otro que están en cirugía a veces y es comprensible en esos casos excepcionales pero sí es importante tener la cámara encendida pues estamos de manera virtual y quiera si o no eh, tener la cámara encendida da cierto sentido de humanidad de que estamos hablando con otra persona no um, es muy importante también minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible es decir si sabes que va a pasar el pan ¿verdad? A apagar el micrófono. En otras palabras, encendamos el micrófono solamente si vamos a participar, dejémoslo así. Solo si vamos a participar, encendemos el micrófono, lo cual va a ser muy frecuentemente. Quienes ya han estado en, en, en conmigo, pues saben que la participación es activa. Ante todo, en este módulo eh, vamos a hablar mucho de, um, de un tema muy bonito que es prácticamente la, el ciclo de vida de un producto. Y lo vamos a hacer de una manera muy dinámica. So, let's see. Uh, otros requisitos, la asistencia al 100% de sus clases es lo, lo principal. Tienen que estar al 100%. El mínimo es un 80%, es decir, solo pueden ausentarse a un máximo de tres clases. Pero recuerden que son 120 minutos exactos los de la clase. Si ustedes se conectan 20 minutos tarde cada vez, pues al final no les va a cuadrar un 80% pueden perder la beca para el siguiente eh, módulo. Eh, eh, la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa, como les decía, 120 minutos. Se toma tres veces a las 8, a las 9 y a las 9.55 al cerrar la clase. 
se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o present, eh, hay un error de dicción, y tener la cámara encendida. Es decir, es muy importante que cuando pasemos el listado tengan la cámara encendida por motivos de auditoría de Insafor, puesto que ese momento es muy especial para ellos. ¿Por qué? Porque se nos ha dado el caso de personas que están inscritas y no son ellos los que están recibiendo la clase. De verdad, se nos ha dado y pues debido a ese motivo en específico, es necesario que tengan encendida la cámara para que Insafor pueda validar que ustedes son los que están recibiendo el curso. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Do you have any questions? No, no teacher, no. No, okay. teacher. Ok. Bien, um, hay sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase eh, para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Es decir, miren, a ese punto eh, que estamos en intermedio 3, usualmente, bueno, tal vez con los que este, en este módulo se han unido al grupo, eh, vamos a abarcar temas de gramática, que tengan dudas, eh, luego lo verán poco a poco. Hay una calendarización que ya se las voy a compartir en el grupo si no lo han hecho, eh, para que ustedes vayan tomando en consideración que se tienen que quedar solo 10 minutitos, no es mucho. Y con la mayoría, pues ya llegamos a un nivel en el que en esos 10 minutos es nada más tener una conversación para identificar áreas de oportunidad. Ojo, tú no tienes errores, tienes áreas de oportunidad que ir corrigiendo a este paso, a este nivel ya. Eh, permisos no disponibles. ¿A qué se refiere a eso? Está fuera de mi control que ustedes me digan, teacher, no voy a poder llegar. Está bien reportarse, pero tomar en cuenta, no depende de inglés corporativo o de mi persona, poder decir, ok, se le permitió ausentarse los 120 minutos de este día para que no se le tome en cuenta al final. Eso no existe. Al final hay que cuadrar esos, ese 80%, ok. Solo espero que tomen en cuenta eso. Como decíamos, Luego, tareas y evaluaciones. Eh, les comento, este programa fue diseñado para ser hecho sin la tutela de un facilitador, de un, de un profesor, como su servidor. Eh, es urgente, es necesario, es vital hacer la plataforma. ¿verdad? Las tareas y las evaluaciones están disponibles desde el día de mañana para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Ya mañana se sube el primer video antes de las 8 de la mañana y ya está. Bueno, yo me quedo a medianoche subiéndolo después de la clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes. Ahora nosotros estamos iniciando, ¿qué es hoy? Jueves pues el jueves será nuestro lunes. Es decir, que el miércoles de la otra semana ya la unidad 1 tiene que estar completada. Eh, ¿Tenemos dudas con eso? No. No, no okay. La aclaración es porque semanalmente enviamos un reporte de calificaciones a Insaforp y si ustedes no completan para el otro miércoles, por ejemplo, unidad 1, que desde ya lo pueden hacer. Yo sé que muchos acá ya tienen un nivel más avanzado que Intermedio 3. De hecho, en ciertas ocasiones, si puedes ir traveseando la plataforma desde el día de hoy, metete a la plataforma, revisar los uh, temas que vienen para que vayamos avanzando. La fecha límite para terminar el examen intermedio será en este caso el miércoles 20 de octubre antes de la medianoche. Ojo, eh. pueden tomar un screenshot de esta diapositiva si gustan, esas fechas son importantes. Y la fecha límite para el examen final es el jueves 4 de noviembre antes de la medianoche. ¿Será que vamos a terminar el 4 de noviembre? Esa creo que es la fecha de, de finalización. Jueves 4 de noviembre. El manual puede ser descargado en la plataforma, aunque ya se les compartió, ¿verdad? En el, en el chat de WhatsApp. Ah, hablábamos del botón de silencio. <coughs> Ahí lo pueden activar, que es muy importante tenerlo activo y solo si voy a participar lo activo. Perdón, es tenerlo um, encendido, el botón de mute, de silencio. La cámara sí encendida todo el tiempo. Hay un chat que nosotros lo ocupamos mucho durante las sesiones. Los breakout rooms, ustedes van a recibir, quienes es primera vez que ocupan Zoom, van a recibir una notificación para unirse a sesiones de grupos cerrados. Los ocupamos bastante también. Y dentro de esos grupos pequeños tendrán la opción de Ask for Help, un botón que dice eh, solicitar ayuda. Uh, si ustedes presionan ese botón, me estarán invocando y yo me haré presente en su grupo pequeño, ¿ok? 
Eso es básicamente todo. Eh, la presentación eh, inicial. Bien, eh, no sé si alguno de los compañeros desea uh, introducirse. I'm sorry, what am I doing? What am I speaking in Spanish? Uh, guys, by the way, I learned to speak English the way you're doing it, but since I was seven years old. So don't be shy, okay? I'm also learning from you. Some of you <laughs> sometimes teach me, so that's really good. Okay, I also, I'm not perfect, okay? Perfection doesn't exist. This doesn't exist, okay? It's just an illusion to be perfect. You have to try, you have to try to be perfect, yes. Try to do everything the best possible way. Okay, um, so I'm gonna start with the previous classmates. Alan, can you ask a new classmate to introduce themselves? Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, I, well, I would like to know uh, we have new faces tonight. It's it's glad to know uh, about one of the one of them that tells us uh, what the uh, who are they. I would like to know. For example, I see new names from jury. Uh, Andres Werner. Hey, welcome to this group. I would like to know uh, about. Uh, tell us. About yourselves. Good. Thank you, Alan. Okay. Feel free, guys. Uh, by the way, choose a victim. <laughs> choose a victim. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is our first day. I'm not going to do that. Hey, in this class, the first 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes of every class are to speak about whatever you want because I need to hear you speaking. That's the most important part of the class. You have to talk. So go ahead. Um, okay. Why don't we introduce all of us? Fernando, say your name and what you do, and then you select someone. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Fernando. Uh, I am an assistant engineer and I work in uh, an, an enterprise uh, developing uh, applications for iOS uh, system. And I like football. I like video games. And yeah, that, that's, just, that's it. And that's it. let me see. Uh, Juan Francisco. I choose tell you. Tell me about you, please. Franz Juan Francisco, I choose you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Uh, hello, good evening. Uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, my name is Juan Francisco Enrique Gonzalez. I am 35 years old. I am married. I had two daughters. I got an Energia Borealis as um, an operation supervisor. Uh, my favorite hobby is uh, reading manga, um, watch anime, and playing games, just that. <laughs> the next, uh, Werner. Okay, Werner, I choose you. What is Werner? Oh, there he is, Werner Mauricio, welcome. Okay, hello everybody. Um, my name is uh, Werner Mauricio Reyes. I am 44 years old. I am married. Um, I work in uh, uh, Federation uh, of Fencing. I coach the national teams and specialty foils. Um, my hobby is uh, cooking. Cooking? Yeah, cooking. Okay. Yeah. So you like cooking. That's awesome. What's your speciality? What's uh, your specialty? Speciality in... Uh, specialty. Mm -hmm. uh, 
dice, ¿cómo se dice? Parrilladas. Oh. Barbecue. Barbecues, yeah, barbecue. Ooh, okay. Yeah. How many are we? We are 20. Okay. <laughs> we are 20 in the group, so think about it. Okay, great job, Werner. Who is next? Let's say, um, Yuri. Yuri Vladimir, okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Yuri, and I am an engineer. And I work in an insurance company. And I work in IT department uh, in a um, in business intelligence and data warehouse. That is the area. Uh, the company is, is is in different countries where we are working at the remote right now because for the pandemic. Um, that's it. Let me see now who is going to continue with us with the presentation. Suleyma. Uh, hello, good evening to everybody. It's a pleasure to be here uh, today with all of you. And my name is uh, Suleyma Moreno. I work at Fruit of the Loom in Salvador, in Balsamar plant. Uh, I have 22 years working there and married. Uh, I live in Santa Ana. And I have uh, a son. Uh, he is 21 years old and I have two little dogs. And my hobbies, I like to learn new things. And I like to read. That's all. Thank you. Awesome. And Good next, job. Uh -huh. Who's next? Next person, Haiti. Who did you say, Yvonne? Did you say my name? Yeah, Heidi. Ah, okay, I'm oh, sorry. Heidi. <laughs> Hello, guys. My name is Heidi Salguero. Uh, I work for Banco Cuscatlan. Since today is the last day of the month, we were the popular ones. So I'm still working. Um, I have three kids. Uh, and my favorite Hobby is uh, planting in my garden and I have a cat. Awesome. Okay, who's next? Oh my God, let's see who's next. Erwin. Hello, guys. Hello, Hello. teacher. How are you? I'm great. Okay. Can you help me a something, teacher, please? Help you? Yes. I don't have the book in the WhatsApp. Oh, are you on the WhatsApp group or not? In that moment, I am in the, in the group. Oh, you just joined. Okay, perfect. I'll share it again. Okay, thank you, teacher. My name is Erwin Lagos. Uh, I have a company. I work all day the Monday to Monday, I want to practice English. I need to practice English. Uh, it's an English many years old, many years old. Um, what more can I say? I live in my house alone. And my company, I sell battery. I have a place, the name is La 29 Plaza. I have uh, five locals. And I rent for locals, and the one local I sell battery for the car and motorcycle in the Ventimare zona, where you can find the parts in El Salvador. This is my my life. I work so hard, and I am a professional in administration of business, business administration, 
en El Salvador, Administración de Empresas de Name right. en El Salvador. Um, I am a teacher at the university too. I give the class uh, about marketing. My pronunciation is more or less because I didn't practice English many years old. Um, I try to, to find a guide for to practice English in my book. That's it. That's right. Okay. Good job. Good job. Okay, who's next? And who's, let me see a moment, Ivan. Thanks, Erwin. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Ivan. Um, I'm married. I have two childs. I work in a uh, from America Bank, and I I, uh, I analyze uh, portfolio risk. Um, I like read, um, listening music, and sometimes try to play guitar. It's a pleasure to meet uh, new partners in this class. And the next guy is Andres. Thanks, Ivan. Hello, everyone. My name is Andres Valdivieso. I live in Chalatenango. I work for Alcaldía Municipal de Citala, always uh, in Chalatenango. I am married, uh, and my hobbies are watch movies listen to music and play video games. And it's a pleasure to me meet new classmates and meet a new teacher. Okay, thank you, Andres. Who is next? Okay, the next person, Carolina Yvette. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Carolina. You can call me Carolina, Caroline, or Carol. Uh, um, I, I am a management system uh, in a transportation um, company. I like to I like to dance. Um, I can't, but I but I enjoy enjoy it. I like to go out with my friends. Uh, uh, to eat, I like camping. Um, I like a uh, place with a lot of nature. I like Mexican food. I like to meet people, cool, cultures, um, gast gastronomy. I live with my parents. Um, I like the animals, dogs, especially dogs and cats. Um, that's it. Uh, the next one is Sandra. Okay. Who is <clears throat> Sandra Elizabeth. Okay, select someone else, Carol, please. Jocelyn. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, hi, good evening to all of you. Welcome to the new members of the team. Uh, my name is Jocelyn Rivas. I am 27 years old. I work for Sykes. For the moment, I, I am a customer service agent and I am working for a bilingual account. I have a daughter, her name is Camila. She is actually four years old. My favorite hobby is I really love to go out. I really enjoy swimming. I am learning to surf, but I can't yet. Uh, this is totally about myself. The next person, Johnny, can you continue please? Um, hello everyone. Um, my name is Johnny Portillo. Um, I am an accountant. I work for a uh, bank. 
And one of my hobbies play soccer and reading book. Um, I know the English uh, it's a opportunity and open the doors as many possibilities. And one of the reasons because I am trying to learn perfectly because I would like to travel all the country and communicate with uh, native speakers and try to dominate the English. And that's all. I choose, uh, I don't know, Ada? Okay. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ada Cáceres. I am a doctor. It's uh, a pleasure to continue with the group in the future. I welcome the new partners. And then my favorite in hobbies is uh, learning uh, every book and my work. I like my work. You love it. Love it, my work. <laughs> <laughs> Only teacher. Thank you, Ana. Uh, who's next, Doc? Oh. Mm. We're missing Rene, Isela. Oh. We're missing, let me see, Sandra. Isela? William. Mm -hmm. Continue, Isela, please. Miguel. Hello, guys. Good evening. Nice to meet you all. My name is Isela Miranda. I won't say my my age. So <laughs> actually, I'm working at at sites. I have been working there for five years. Actually, um, I'm a leader. So for that reason, I really need to learn English and and also work with my pronunciation. And for the same reason as you, I'm here in order to, to learn and improve. And um, well, as you can see, if you can watch um, the, the video here, I'm eating. So that's mean that I love eating food, fast food, I think. So nice to meet you guys. I think that, who is missing teacher? We're missing Sandra, William, Alexandra, Me. Miguel, William. and Rene Alfonso. Please, William, continue. <clears throat> William, hello. Okay. To someone else, please. I, I think Miguel Angel is driving. Um, let me see. Well, okay. What about Rene? Hey, teacher. Yeah, Rene Alfonso, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Zela. Thank you, teacher. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rene Madrid. Uh, I live in Santa Tecla. I am coach badminton. That's four. Uh, I work in the Federation Badminton. And my hobby is practice sport, uh, uh, soccer, uh, basketball, and badminton. And uh, I like a room. Uh, only. <laughs> Let's continue. Great, okay. Uh, I think we're done, right? Uh, Suleyma, did Suleyma speak? Did she talk? Yeah, she just said you're, you introduced yourself, right? Anybody else? Are we all? Okay. So open your Zoom chat. Let's start by that. Look at your Zoom chat. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, I know. Well, I mean, all of you spoke, right? So. These are very basic words, okay? These are very basic words. My name, 
is, my name is, my name is, my name is, my name is, okay? Name, years old. Don't forget, years old, years old. Try to mimic, okay? Years old, years old. I have a daughter, I have a daughter. Sounds better I than have I, have, I have one daughter. Uh, I have a daughter. Repeat, married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. Okay. Married. Now listen, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I'm an accountant. I'm an accountant. For example, don't forget the article. I'm an, I'm an, I'm a carpenter. I'm a carpenter. I'm a carpenter. I'm an engineer. Okay. Um, we are working remotely. We're working remote. We're working remotely, virtually, virtually. We're working from home. So let's just chat the, the Zoom ahorita. We're working remotely. You can say we're working virtually. We're working from home, which is the most common. I have 22 years working there. I have been, or I've been working 22 years there. Okay, I've been working there for 22 years. Uh, remember, there are many variations of what you want to say in English. Okay, I work in a bank. I work at Banco de América Central, our Banco Agricola. I work in, I work in a hotel. I work in an academy. I work at Inglés Corporativo. I work at Banco de América Central, whatever. You got it? In general, the name of the business. Okay, not the name of the business, but the, the kind of business. I work in the kind of business. I work at the name of the business. I work all days. Ooh, what happened there? I work every day. I work from Monday through Sunday, or I work the whole week, you know. In the one local, uh, I think everyone was saying this, in the one local, at one branch, at one branch, local branch, my pronunciation is sort of good. My pronunciation, by the way, pronunciation. My pronunciation is sort of good. My pronunciation is not so good. Or I need to improve my pronunciation. I need to improve my pronunciation. Um, para los que se nos han unido, a veces hago esto, acerco mi boca fea a la cámara para que tú luego puedas ver el video y tratar de imitar la articulación, que es lo que más vamos a atacar en estos módulos, ¿ok? Let's see. So, and, and try to mimic my ugly mouth, ¿ok? Um, instead of saying only that, you say, that's it. Repeat, that's it. That's about it. That's about it. That's it. Area of improvement for many. <clears throat> I like read. Mm, I like reading books or I like to read. When you talk about your hobbies, you say my hobbies are reading, playing, jumping, whatever, I-N-G. Hobbies, I-N-G. Okay, my hobby is sleeping. My hobby is sleeping. <laughs> Jocelyn, nature, nature, nature. I like to, you got it. I like to meet people of different cultures. I like to meet people cultures. I like to meet people of different cultures. I work at a bilingual, bilingual account. She is currently four years old. Okay, we don't say actually, that, that's a misconception between Spanish and English, okay? We didn't say actually, we say currently. She's currently, or at the moment, she's four years old. I'm an accountant. Again, guys, area of improvement, articles. I'm an accountant. I'm an engineer. I'm an architect, whatever. Travel. 
other countries, travel to other countries, prepositions, travel to other countries. For the same reason as yours, Isela, I'm learning English. I'm learning English for the same reason as yours. Okay. So the correct, sorry teacher, I just have a question. The correct weight is yours with F at the, at the end. Yeah, because it's a ah, okay. um, possessive pronoun. It goes at the end, right? It's yours. Okay. okay. Thank you. I didn't know that. You got it. Okay. Uh, in the Federation of Badminton or the Badminton Federation. I work in the Badminton Federation. Okay. I like to run. I like run. I like no. to run. I like to run or I like running. Do, uh, I like run. Do you like to run, Carolina? Or Caramelo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Welcome back. We're gonna start with introducing the topic, okay? For this module, everything is on your book. Yes, most part of it. So let's go with the first part of the presentation. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit or remember the present perfect. When do we use the present perfect? Ta, 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 ta. Fernando, go. Uh, used to describe an action that has recently finished or previous experience that may affect the present. Recently. Recently. Re <coughs> recently. There you go. Yeah, it has recently finished, finished. or previous experiences. 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 Uh huh. That experiences. may affect. The may affect the present. Okay. Uh, para los que se nos unen, es bueno identificar el estrés de las palabras. No existe la tilde en inglés, pero existe el estrés de la sílaba. So, siempre señala dónde está el estrés cuando escuches la palabra. You may ask for repetition if you need to as well. Okay. Let's keep going. Thank you, Fernando. Okay, so we have some examples of present perfect. Okay, I've already told you. For example, let me do this again. So we have, I've, al I've already told you. I've already told you. I've yeah. already told you. Okay. You've worked here for a long time. And you've worked here for a long time. You've worked here for a long time. You've, you've worked here for a long time. Okay. They've just, they've just stopped. They've just stopped the new product line. They've just stopped the new product line. They've just stopped the new product line. Try to mimic. She hasn't tried it yet. She hasn't tried it, tried it yet. She hasn't tried it yet. We still haven't sold a single unit. We still haven't sold a single unit. And we still haven't sold a single unit. Have you seen the competitor's new product? Have you seen the competitor's new product? Haven't they just come out of the meeting? Haven't they just come out of the meeting? Haven't they just come out of the meeting? And that's it. Let's walk the talk. What's the meaning of walk the talk? Who remembers? What's the meaning of walk the talk? Show me what you got. Remember, show me what you got. Can you give me examples? Try to follow the, uh, the, the examples. Who remembers the present perfect? This is not a new topic. Hello, hello. Uh, we use present perfect to talk about uh, 
Experience, past experience. Past experiences. Experiences. Okay. Right, so go ahead. Give me an example. Uh, I had been in Guatemala last year. Last year? Yes. I've been in Guatemala last year. Okay. Good job. Someone else? What's your favorite color, Fernando? Quick, quick, quick. Uh, blue. Blue, okay. Sulema, nice background. <laughs> the earth. I love the color blue. Okay. Give me an example, Sulema. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been working last Saturday. Okay. When we say I have been working, that is present perfect continuous. <gasps> I have been working. I have been studying. I have been talking. I have been teaching. Got it? That's present perfect continuous. So I have been, that's present perfect. I have been there. I have been sick. I have been sick. Okay. What's your favorite color, Suleyman? Black. Black. Werner, nice background. So dark. Give me an example. An example, teacher, I don't know. In this moment. Or say, teacher, I can't remember, teacher, sorry. It's okay. Okay. It's I okay. Can not remember, teacher. You cannot remember. It's this okay. Moment. It's cool. Let's do it. Let's remember. So let's go with positive. You have the formula up there. So you have a subject, the verb have or has. Okay. The past participle of the verb and the complement. So your task right now is to give me sentences. Be careful. You cannot repeat verbs. Okay. Mind this, first and second persons have. Carolina, what are the first and second persons? Persons. First and second subjects. Second. First and second. Uh, have. Mm, okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about subjects. What are the first and second subjects? Who remembers? Everybody, who remembers? Which are the first and second persons? First is I. I do. Excellent. That's the first person. I. What are the second persons? You. 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 Uh huh. We, you, they, right? Ok, acuérdense, si hay mucho ruidito ahí en su entorno, apague el micrófono. Si van a participar, lo encienden, ok? So, again, first person, I. Second person, you, we, they. So, I, you, we, they. We use have, okay? Third persons, third persons, he, she, it. We use has, got it? You got it? Yeah. Because okay, so yes. I have, yes. you have, he, she, it has, okay? We, you, they have. Okay, good. Let's start. I need the first sentence. Follow the I formula. Have, Excellent. Go, go, go. I have seen my favorite movie twice. Excellent. 
Twice. I have seen my favorite movie twice. Okay. Who's next, Jocelyn? Uh, let me see. He's Stella, my friend. <laughs> Best friend forever. Yes. We BFF. support each other. Since, since we just met, I think that we won't be friends anymore. But let me try to say. <laughs> um, you, I don't know if I can just be in. I'm not sure. What? You have been. Okay. No? Okay, yeah. You've been. You, you have been selected to be the next to participate. Fernando. Okay. That was a nice sentence. You've been selected to be the next Fernando. Okay. You can use any any subject, whatever subject you prefer. Uh, he has a plate. Uh -huh. uh, soccer for three years. Excellent. For three years. Okay. Good. Who's next? Fair. Judy. Okay, Judy. She has worked in a bank for for five years. For five years, okay. Excellent. Who's next, Yuri? Um, let me see, uh, Andres. Hey, Andres. Hey. Uh, it has rained all day. As simple as that. You got it. Who's next, Andres? Erwin. Erwin? So, we have eaten fish at the dinner for one year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A dinner for try to use a for a year sounds better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have eaten fish dinner for a year. We have eaten fish at dinner for a year. Awesome. Who's next, Erwin? Ada. Ada. You have um driving drive a car. Every day. You have driven a car every day. No. Mm -hmm. You have driven a car every day. Okay. Who's next? Sandra. Sandra. I think Sandra's having internet connection problems. Um, choose someone else, Ada, please. Or Sandra, are you there? Johnny. Okay, Johnny. They has lost the money. Mm, they has. Lost mm. the money. Mm. They have lost have 
the money. Repeat, money. 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 There you go. They've lost the money. Repeat, they've lost the money. They have lost the money. They have lost the money. Okay, so they that's have... as simple as that. Remember, you can use contractions. You can use apostrophe, V-E. Let's say I've, again, I've, you've, his, she's, it's, with, you've, Dave. They've lost the money. You've been selected. He's played yeah. soccer for three years. He's played soccer for three years. Yeah. Okay, now I have a challenge for you. Let me see, Who, who's the smartest in the classroom? Can you make a sentence with a figure? Can anybody make a sentence with the figure? So instead of the subject, try to use a figure. What is a figure? Alan, you're so quiet tonight. A sentence with a figure. What is a figure? Okay, a figure, I mean something abstract, an abstract idea. What is an abstract idea? The government, El Salvador, the state, okay, politics, abstract ideas, someone, someone. The environment. Okay. Uh, chicos, si me escuchan, alguien, eh, recuerden de nuevo que esto, esta clase es para que ustedes participen y hablen. Aquí ya no nos podemos quedar callados. Solo esperando que alguien más participe. Te reto, te invito a que hagas el máximo esfuerzo y des lo mejor de vos en cada clase. Porque para eso estás acá. So, oh, una idea abstracta, chicos, una figura. Eh, ¿Qué es una idea abstracta? A figure, una figura. El estado es una figura. Algo intangible. Okay, something you cannot touch. Intangible things. Come on. Teacher, maybe the mathematic is difficult for many person. Math has been difficult. Yes, it has been difficult. Uh -huh. Math has been difficult. Very good. Thank you, Erwin. Thank you very much. Math has been difficult for many people in history. I mean, math has always been difficult. Excellent. Did you hear? Math has always been difficult. Can I use frequency adverbs in the present perfect? You heard? Math has always been difficult. Math has often been difficult for many people. Okay. Questions. Do you have any questions? Okay, I'm taking a screenshot. I'll send it to your WhatsApp right away. Do you have any questions with present perfect in positive statements? No? No. Okay, not a problem. Let's do the attendance one more time so we can move on to the negative question really quick. And we move on with the topics on your book. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. He's not here today. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salga, Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome. Giovanni Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Johnny. Present teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Ok. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present teacher. Okay. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Miguel, I'm, I'm sorry, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Here, teacher. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Excellent. Okay. A alguien no mencioné. No. Okay. Good. Let's continue. So, really quick. Uh, vamos a hacer una cosa. Como este es un tema que. I have my camera off for some minutes. I'm in the bathroom. Okay. Okay, Isela. Good. Um, so, this is an old topic. You should know about it. Do you have any questions about the present perfect? No? Okay. So, this was positive. Negative. It's very similar. You have a subject. Remember, 90% of the grammar rules are made the same way. They have an auxiliary. 90% of the grammar rules have an auxiliary. And this auxiliary is affected by the negative. And also this auxiliary is brought to the front of the sentence, okay? To make a question, have, has, you see the difference? I haven't eaten yet. Have you eaten yet? Okay, so let's follow the formula. And so you can get to know each other I'll go ahead and split the class and send you this screenshot so you can fill it out. Got it? Got it? So yes, we're, we're gonna make yes, negatives and questions, okay? Negatives and questions. It's very easy, guys. Do you have any questions on the formula? Questions? No questions? Okay. Estamos empezando con el pie izquierdo, señores. You have to speak. Talk, 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 talk. Okay, there you go. Negative and questions, okay? How many are we? We are 23. Let's go in small groups. Please accept the invitation. Okay, uh, guys, please accept the invitation. Werner, let's go, Sandra. Okay. Nice to meet you. Guys, give me a minute, okay? Me voy a parar por un minuto. En negativo. We are going to, to, to do sentences. In positive yes. or negative? In question, no? Yeah. Oh. The person. Questions. Question. Okay. In negative, in question. 
method the first, first subject is I. Okay, for example, have you played soccer the last Sunday? I don't know. What do you Yes, have you played soccer the last the last Sunday? Again, again, again. Have you played soccer the last Sunday? Uh, you don't need the article. Have you played soccer last Sunday? Yeah. Ah, I understand. Okay. Have you played soccer last Sunday? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, next, next. What about you, Andres? What are your questions? Uh, with the subject I. Try to use, try to use all of the subjects. Okay? Okay. okay. Another sentences. Uh, you have no participating class today. You have not? You have you have not you're breaking up, is it? Or who's talking? Ada? Uh. No. You have it not to show being for, in class. Oh, oh, you have not been participating. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, no, participating is in a, it's in a verb. You, yeah. have, it's in you a, have not the, participated. Participated. Ahora, eso ocurre porque se, se están clavando con el uso de bien, right? Se están enfrascando en usar bien, bien, bien. So, ah, no, remember, look at the formula. Uh -huh. You have yes. not participated. There you go. In class, in class, in class, in class, okay. When? Today. Okay. You have participated in class today. You have not participated in class today. Okay. Good. Okay. And you? Do you have the sentence with you? No, I don't have it. The one with I, neither. Do you have it, Yvonne? Uh, no, let me see. Maybe. It's on the WhatsApp. You have to. No, no, no. no. Okay, what happened? You are, you haven't listened. You, uh, to, you haven't, you haven't, maybe you haven't read the sentences. <laughs> you haven't, Sorry, what? you haven't, you haven't been, haven't been, been writing the sentences. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, now and the last one, they. They. Um, they haven't, they haven't made, uh, made the dinner. Oh, they haven't mm -hmm. made dinner. They haven't made dinner. Made or, or cooked, you mean? Cooked. Prepared. Prepared. Oh. oh, prepared. They haven't prepared dinner. Now, be careful. If you say the, the dinner is, huh? is a special dinner with mm -hmm. a lot of guests, you know, mm -hmm. a party. 
Okay. Then we just have to say they haven't cooked dinner. Correct. Okay. Cook, prepare, yeah. Hey, uh, turn on your camera, Heidi, Jose Antonio, Sulema, sure. come on. Sure, please, sure. please. Sure, sure. There uh, you go. Teacher, I, I am in my cell phone, so when I pass to see the, the image oh. or picture that you send, I have to move. Yeah, you mm. swipe. Repeat, I swipe the screen. I swipe. I swipe the screen. So it's, it's a, a little problem that I have with my with my cell phone. I don't it's have okay. A computer. It happens. Don't worry. It's okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, keep going. Now you go with questions, right? Yes. Yes. She, she has cleaned the office the last week. That's positive. She has cleaned. Yes, she has. She has cleaned the office in, with tea at the end of the with tea. Okay, teacher. Actually, it's the cleaned. 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 It's una D mayúscula. Cleaned. Cleaned. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. There you go. The office last week. Last week. Yes. Okay. Now we're doing negatives and questions. Negatives and we, questions. The negative, we haven't. We end. Right. Is negative and question or negative and affirmative? No, just negative and questions. That's, oh. what, that's what we're missing oh, okay. to practice. Now, keep in mind that you need the verbs in past participle. All the time, verbs in past participle. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go with negatives, Johnny. With negative. Um, um, okay. Uh, in this moment, maybe it's the we have, interrogative. We haven't eaten. We haven't eaten. We haven't eaten in a restaurant. Oh, we haven't eaten in that restaurant. True. Good, good. Uh huh. Next. <clears throat> she. Uh, she has. No. Yeah. She has. Um, she has not or she hasn't? She hasn't. Oh no, but in this moment is post is affirmative. No, negatives and questions. Uh -huh. Ajá, teacher, sorry. Eh, nosotros pensábamos que eran, pregun eran afirmativas y negativas. No, de las negativas ya las hicimos. Entonces estamos. Oh, ok. So just uh -huh. the questions, you're just missing the questions. So es que yo les expliqué las afirmativas, mm -hmm. solo quedábamos con um, okay. negatives and questions, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, she hasn't. Um, but in past. Oh. Okay. Has she or has or have you Clo closed closed the door? Have you closed have you closed the door? Have you closed the door? The next, it is, uh, it is, no, it, <clears throat> it hasn't guaranteed in that moment. It hasn't guaranteed. What are you trying to say? Ya no tiene garantía. Ah, hmm. ya no tiene, that's past. Wait, 
It doesn't, it doesn't have a guarantee anymore. It doesn't have warranty, warranty anymore. Uh, its warranty has expired. Its uh, warranty yes. has expired. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> Great yeah, job thinking, thinking about okay. the business. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Its warranty has expired. Hey, do you sell uh, auto parts or just batteries? Uh, batteries. Yeah, it's batteries. Okay. For the cars and the motorcycle. Oh, and cars and motorcycles. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Okay, keep it up. We're almost done. We're almost done. Do the questions. Yeah. Recording is stopped. <laughs> hey, uh, a magical hey. word. <laughs> okay, give me your examples. Questions, questions. Oh, we haven't. Teacher. Hey. You already finished just the negative. No, I said negative. We haven't done it. <laughs> You're you're not done yet, really? Okay, let's do it. Just improvise. Have you tried? Have you ever seen the ring, teacher? I want to know. <laughs> Come on. Have you ever seen Come the on. ring? I love, I love the ring. Amazing. Yeah. Opera, opera. Have you heard opera? Ronconte Martiro. Really? <laughs> That's um wait 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 that's uh ah what's the name of this blind guy I forgot his name oh my god don't Andrea tell me Bocelli. Andrea Bocelli Andrea Bocelli yeah. yeah I cried when Luciano Pavarotti passed away Luciano Pavarotti passed away on November hold on 29th 20 Eight. When I got married, I was on my honeymoon when I heard the news that Luciano had died. It was yeah. so sad. I, I, I will never forget that moment. Yeah. I was in the camera watching TV and then, <gasps> no way, he passed away. It was really bad. Okay. okay. Questions? <laughs> yeah, I love opera in that sense. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in um, uh, Alan, in my oh. example, in in my sport, for example, and uh, they still haven't uh, taken the foil. Uh, the foil it is the arm for the arm. Because, yeah. Okay. The sword is is it the sword? The sword. Yeah. Is is uh, how do you say yeah. grima in English? Fencing. 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 Okay. Uh, the fencing is the th three speciality: foiled, epe, and disabled. Three different arms. Three different arms. Arm, arm. Really? Weapons? Yeah, the weapons, uh, yeah. Awesome. Man. Do, yeah, how... and, and okay. I, I coach is the uh, national team to the foil. The foil is, uh, for example, uh, on yeah. my pictures. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Yes, hey, do, yes. do you train? Do you train teenagers or kids? Yeah, this um, uh, is uniform. This is uh, the uh, uniform. The equipment. Equipment. The equipment. So, equipment. so for yeah. example, I have a twelve-year-old. I have a twelve-year-old, and if I want him to practice, I need to mm -hmm. buy his suit. Yeah, I need, I need to buy the equipment. Yeah, the equipment. Yeah, the the mask and the jacket. Uh, it is uh, a special. Is for it's special. A special. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Um, for um, uh, security. For security. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. yeah, it's very important. Okay, guys, time's up. Let's go. Okay.
Okay, we're back. Let me see. Almost. So while we wait for the others, what's your awesome question? What's your awesome sentence? Shoot me your awesome sentence. Okay, shoot me your awesome sentence. Disparenme okay. su oración más asombrosa. <laughs> I'm all ears. She has to not cook it, cook, it, cook it very well, teacher. <laughs> he hasn't cooked very well. He hasn't cooked very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other? Come on, intermediate three. He hasn't uh, dry, dry in San Salvador. He hasn't driven in San Salvador. Driven. Driven. Okay. Hey, what adverbs of frequency can you use? What about ever? Or what about never? He has never driven in San Salvador. He has never driven in San Salvador. Be careful. Don't say he hasn't never. Uh -uh. He hasn't ever. He hasn't ever driven in San Salvador. So again, Negativas y preguntas ocupo ever, positivas ocupo never, pero eso hace negativa la afirmación. ¿Estamos? Bien. I've never, yes. I've never been out of El Salvador. I've never been out of El Salvador. Okay. I haven't ever, I haven't ever been out of El Salvador. I'm saying the same thing. Okay, guys. So today we're going to do a little introduction to your book. We're gonna do a little introduction to your book. Ready? So this module, we're going to talk about unit one, the product life cycle. The product life cycle. What do you understand by the product life cycle? All the process the durability. That you to... I'm sorry. First, I have Yuri, and then, and then Sulema. Okay, Yuri, go. Uh, the I think is the all the process that you need to the process that include the create as a uh, product. All the process that includes to create a product. Okay, Sulema. Uh, I think it's the durability of the product. The durability of the product, okay. The existence of the product. The existence of the product, okay. The, the, the depreciation of the product, the depreciation of the product. You have an accountant, we have an accountant yes. <laughs> talking about depreciation. What do you think, Erwin? Okay, and the, the product life cycle, how pronounce cycle? Yeah. Cycle is the theoric, the life of the product about the mark. Because in the, in the, in the lip, you have to make a refresh the mark of the brand. Refresh the brand? Uh -huh. You have to refresh the brand. Yes, so continue. you're saying this is the whole life. Yes, of the product. Yes, you got it. Yes. You got it. The, the theory is that you end and the end, you begin and the end. It's the theory. But theory? The, life, the theory, yes. Okay. But the really, the it's real nice. life, the real the time, life, the uh -huh. real life, to right. have the refresh, the mark. It's a continuous cycle. So it starts, yes. it finishes, then recycles. Start, yes. finish, recycle. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Let's see. Okay. You're totally right. And 
every, cada vez que tienes una TH, Erwin, es una Z. So, theoretical, theoretical, thorn. Um, what else? Thunder, thunder, okay. TH, theoretical, theoretical. Okay. Ojo que yo tomo muy en cuenta sus comentarios. A Erwin no estoy molestando con pronunciación porque escuché que dijo, quiero aprender, quiero mejorar mi pronunciación, so. Ok, no los voy a dejar en paz con lo que han dicho. Si alguien dijo Teacher. la gramática es mi, mi área de oportunidad y lo puede estar molestando, no se vayan a molestar, ok. Ajá, Teacher, Wendy, Wendy. Wendy. Es Thursday. Correct. Thursday. Thursday. But there are exceptions, right, teacher? For example, like, T H E, the. The. Correct. The. V. Mm -hmm. At the beginning. Sometimes you blow air. Sometimes you don't. The. V. Very good. Thank you. Hey, both. Both of us. Both of us. Both of us. Excellent. Hey, have you ever participated in the development of a new product? Have you ever participated in the development of a new product? No. No, teacher. No. Oh, liars. No. <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> the true. The previous module. No, someone from the previous module say uh, no. And yes, they did. Okay. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, Ivan, so you haven't. Okay, Haley, no. Yes, I have. Who said I have? Haley, okay, you have. How was it? How was it? Tell us. It was very interesting. Uh, 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 my part was uh, where we were trying out if everything was working okay with the product. This uh, it was about uh, the creation of oh gift cards. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Awesome. How did you test them? Uh, well, the plastic comes to the branch, and then the test consisted on on creating the card in the system and oh. putting money into it. See if it worked. And go to uh, go spend it. To shop with the card. <laughs> oh my god! I my love that part. test. <laughs> my favorite part. <laughs> yes. So you were know. you were trying the magnetic band on mm -hmm. the on the plastic. Awesome. We, we tried all the whole process, the whole process, since the creation of the card until the usage. From uh huh. To or from until. Good job. A hey, very nice pronunciation, Haley. Nice to meet you. Great job. I work with prepaid cards for a call center here in my office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every day from 5 a.m. to 12:30, I work on the disputes department, you know, on the legal department when they have fraudulent transactions. Oh, on no. their cards i hate that but my job is so easy you have no mm -hmm. idea how easy is my job we just take the complaint we register the thing you know and go along then we have a team of investigators um following up with the car holder thank you Heidi. um okay someone else have you ever participated in the development of a new product Okay, for some of the students, they know this story. I was part of a group of people testing a new product. Um, have you heard about Telepizza from, from Camp Pollo Campero? So we, I, I, I was part of the testing group and I didn't know. I tried, mm -hmm. I tried pizza with chicharron, right, with pork. I try it with a lot of hot pepper. We tried it with a lot of green peppers, a lot of ingredients, you know. But finally, we came out with a nice product, the Tipica. Have you tried the Tipica pizza from Pollo Campero, the pizza? 
No. No? Yes. Do you, yes. No. no. Okay, it's very healthy. We haven't tried that one. It's very really? delicious. It's delicious. It, it has beans. What else? Help me. What else is on the typica pizza? Pizza with beans. Beans, huh? Really? Cheese. Yes. Cheese. Sausage. Do you know what is sausage? Sausage. Mm -hmm. Salchichas, right? Or chorizos in this case. No, salsa is sauce. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Sausages, chorizo, salchichas, that involves everything, okay? Sausages. Uh, it has um, loroco. Uh, and that's it, basically. You know, that's like the main ingredients. I think it also has bacon. I mean, it's it's delicious. And it was good. That was a successful Very pizza. Healthy. Very healthy, yeah. Very Salvadorian. Very Salvadorian. It's a crazy. It's a crazy. Don't talk about food. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Let's not talk about food. I know. Okay. So look at the example. Now that you mention it, yes. I've been part of a group mm -hmm. to develop a new product. We tasted the possible ingredients for the new pizza before they introduced it, before they introduced it to the market. Okay, that was me. Why did, did I go back to the beginning? Sorry. Uh, so, so if you have what is a product or service that your company has recently introduced to the market have you has your company introduced a new product to the market lately well they've recently launched a new pizza called the candy pizza the candy pizza and yes it's got candies on it Let's talk about it, shall we? Okay, let's split the class again. <laughs> let's split the class again so we can talk about these two questions, okay? It's just two questions. Have you ever participated in the development of a new product? And what is a product or service that your company has recently introduced to the market? Ahora, en esta clase hay una regla, señores. Si nunca has hecho algo de lo que habla el tema, ¿qué tenemos que hacer, chicos? ¿Alguien? ¿Someone? Inventar. Invent. Mm, invent. Oh, hay otra palabra invent. para eso. There's another invent. word. Great. 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 Make, Make it up. Make Creating. it up. Pagation. Ok. Make it up. Make Acuérdense, up. porque si te quedas con la rutina de diario y que, ay, no, nunca he participado en probar un producto. Oh, my God. No vas a decir nada, ¿ok? So, become someone else. Acuérdense, vuélvanse alguien más en esta clase. Tienes un millón de dólares, tienes tres empresas, ¿ok? Ya has vivido de todo en esta vida. So, you can speak about anything, ¿ok? So, have you ever participated in the development of the new product? Yes, I tried. I tried new ice cream a year ago. I also tried a new motorcycle, you know, um, an electric an electric motorcycle. I tasted it. I tasted it and it was good. I tried it, I'm sorry, I tried it. It was a good product. My company, my company um, has introduced recently a new shampoo. You know, I work for a shampoo factory, so they introduced a new product to the market. It's a shampoo with papaya. Okay, make it up. Invent it, okay? So let's split the class. This is on your workbook. Let me tell you. By the way, Adita, please stay for 10 minutes with me tonight, will you? Okay, teacher. Okie dokie. Which page, teacher? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the opening opening questions on page nine? Okay. Page nine. Have you ever participated in the development of a new product? What is a product or service that your company has recently now introduced? I'm sorry to the market. Conversation time. Let's do it again. Okay.
opinion. And hey. <laughs> Okay, who one particip has participated in the development of a new product? Have you, Johnny? Hi. Have, Have you, you participated? Yeah. Um, I um, participate choose the colors of the 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 closer because the company may different clothes for the rock the rock and I choose the color and different color in combination of colors for for the creation the the clothes um what else um, I work in company of service and I participate in the creation um the friends uh, Service product, uh, financial products for uh, financial, 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 financial. Fine, I can see it. Financial. financial. There you go. Financial. Um, for customer and. Only that. That's it. In my case, I have participated in in the development. What? Really? What? What didn't you get? No. Uh, uh, what is, I can see the name of the service, uh, Wendy. Ah, she, Wendy. she she was talking about a, a new product that was develop, developing in, in, in her company. Oh, really? What was it? She, I, I understand about uh, a book or a call center service about uh, uh, mental health. I, I no, in my no, in my company is uh, industrial, ah. and I work in the education area and mental health. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And right now, I development the new, no product, is new service. Service, okay. Mm -hmm. You are developing a new product or a new service, a new service. Yes, a new service. What is For it? The, is the attention, like, uh, the, I don't know how do you say, uh, atención psicológica, en plan. Piscina psicológica o oficina. Atención psicológica. Oh, oh, oh. Consulta. Okay. Psychological attention. Uh, or consultation, yes. actually, yeah. Uh, okay. Psychological mm -hmm. consultation. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because I am psychologist. Okay, keep going. Okay. Someone else. Uh, in my case, I I never have participating in a development a new product uh, tangible but I I always participate in the testing 
and development, the product life cycle of an application that I, I am, or I was developed. I have developed. Developing. I have developed. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Um, in my in my case, I I have to 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 try every features about that application and all the features of that I, application. And I uh, yeah, I am the, the well, I am the the maker, so I have to I have a uh, a lot of tasks in the product cycle is different that and an, an, a product tangible, but uh, maybe a tangible product. Tangible, yes, product. Because it's a, it's it's older name, but in my in my in my local I sell battery. Um, for example, today we sell forty battery. Sold. Sold battery. Yes, I sold 40, 40, 40, 40 batteries. Batteries. Yes, 40 batteries today. 40, a, wow. 40. Yes, yes. That's awesome, really good. Yes. Blessing, yes. you're totally yes. blessed. <laughs> uh, uh, in my, I love the business, it's in my passion. Yeah, it's in my passion. Awesome. But not, not, not for the morning, only because when you love something, you, you like the work. You love the work and you work free, okay? But in the moment is easy. Six years ago, seven years ago, it's uh, so difficult. It was so it difficult. Was so difficult. Yes, the market introduction is a uh, experience that's so difficult for many person and many, people. many many people and many people can can have a good company after that one year, second year, three years is. Would you want, would you want, I remember, I remember it when you, when I visited the bank, never the, the bank gave the money, never. In the moment, I don't have a, a didn't, a, I don't, I, I, I don't need the money in that I, moment. Uh, wait, you didn't need money? In that moment, I need, I need it. I needed the money. The money. In that okay. Moment. Mm -hmm. In that moment, I don't need the money. I didn't need. I didn't need. In that moment, I don't need it in the present. Oh, at the moment, I don't need. I don't, yes, I don't need. I don't need it in loans. You don't need loans. You have, uh, you have, uh, how do you call this? You're liquid. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Con but, congratulations but it's so difficult but I, I when you have a, a business uh, I never when I was uh, 10 years ago I never thought that I would have a business but you say said, libertad financiera yes yeah, free, uh, and economical freedom or financial freedom sorry financial freedom and he's liquid I mean when you're liquid you don't need loans but being liquid is not easy. Yeah, no. just just like Erwin is saying, it's very difficult. That's awesome. I'm I'm happy for you actually. It's okay, good to okay. hear. It's, but, it's good to but hear. in the moment it's easy. But six, uh, seven years ago, oops, I had a good problem. A lot of I, trouble. <laughs> I never think. I never thought. So thought, thought. Thought. Another I th. Thought. Another th. I never yes, thought. I never thought that I will have a company. You could have a company, awesome. Yes, because I had, uh, I was a manager in a one company, but uh, I worked here 15 years old. 15 years yes. ago, oh, ago. Ago, yes. No, I worked 15 years. I worked for 14 years, 15 years. I worked for 15 years in that company. I worked yes. for 15 years in that company. Okay, good. Good job. Okay. I had a problem. I had a problem with my boss. Really? And that yes, and so that, difficult. And that pushed you to start your business? My boss boss. Uh, I mean I'm the sorry, problem, this. the problem, the conflict with your boss. Oh, so difficult. Pushed so you difficult. pushed you to start your business? No. 
¿No? Sí, eh, he, how say despedir? He fired me. Yes, he fired me. Really? But that's yes. my point. Did I that a... did that force you to start your business? Yes, because I, I, I had a four years old. I am old in that moment. You had a four-year-old. You had a four-year-old. Yes, I had a no 43. Three. Oh, you were 40. You were 43. No, I worked here 15 years. Uh -huh. But I had a, in that moment 43. Years old. Oldest. Yes, I was in the moment uh, oldest. When you have a one uh, 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 to be a manager in another company. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 35 is the, the oldest they yeah. take currently. Even now, if you're 35 years old, you're done. But, but I have one problem. Many years ago, this is the, the, the my business. But when I was a, a manager, mm -hmm. uh, do you, I don't know, teacher, do you know uh, Autodrome de Javali? Yeah, of course. Yes, I was a manager. Of Autodromo de Javali? Yes. Really? I was, yeah, I was a manager. The money for, I had an old kind of racing and so Like that? Yes. Hey, yes! <laughs> it's <in> GTA. <laughs> Alan is thinking like, sí que se tardó. <laughs> to show it. But, I, ha um, I have a 1978 GTI. Well, it's not a GTI, it's a Golf. A Golf, a golf. 1978. Yes, I had a problem with the with the with the with my boss. Um, I ended up on the, the the racing car in the Salvador. Mm -hmm. And what can I do it in that moment? Only the market introduction. We're gonna talk about that little by little, part by part. Okay. You're you're gonna help me. So that's okay. a good job. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Ah, ok. Ok, bien, ya estamos todos de regreso, estamos casi al final de la sesión. Vieron que rápido se pasó el tiempo. Uh, esto fue una pequeña um, sesión de lo que nos espera de aquí a um, 25 días. Ok, son 25 días, 5 semanas. Que no van a sentir el tiempo. Esta clase es muy participativa. Debe de ser participativa. Si ustedes no participan, vamos a pasar como en tedio total, porque yo no quiero pasar hablándoles. Um, puede que un tema que veamos yo no lo conozca del todo, pero tengo una idea. La cualidad principal de este tipo que ustedes ven acá, gracias a Dios, siempre ha sido la creatividad. Y el punto es, en lo que yo siempre les he dicho a mis alumnos, eh, vale más una persona con autoestima que una persona con mucha preparación, con mucho, eh, una persona muy competente, que es muy competente en su campo. Y se los pinto siempre con mi ejemplo. Tengo muchos alumnos, muchos compañeros, perdón, de, de, que tienen su título, tienen una maestría en inglés, en el idioma inglés, y en la enseñanza del idioma inglés. Ok, pero cuando se trata de hablar, este, no vea. Ok, entonces lo mismo, ¿eh? si tú sentís que tú conoces de algo, echarle la mano a tus compañeros. Muchos de ustedes ya pueden hablar, échenme la mano en los grupos pequeños, presten la guitarra, como suele decir el dicho, presten la guitarra, dejen que los demás hablen también. Ante todo, si ves que alguien está así, y con el micrófono apagado. Ah, sí, no, decirle en tu mente, ah, sí, no, no vas a hablar, a ver. Uh, what do you think, Alan? What do you think, Andreas? Ok. Hacerle preguntas. Y le vas a ayudar como no tienes una idea. Te va a odiar tal vez. Deja lo que te odie. Estamos virtual, no se van a agarrar. No, en serio. Después, después esa persona te va a decir, puchica, me acuerdo cómo me fregaba Ada en cada momento que estábamos en grupo. Solo a mí me preguntaba. It's ok. Después va a decir, puya, pero si no me hubiera estado fregando a todas las sesiones, no hubiera aprendido. 
De verdad, no me hubiera soltado porque es el principal, uh, la principal barrera que necesitamos votar ahorita. Um, good. Eh, hay muchos de ustedes que son administradores, doctores y todo. Hay temas que son complejos y este programa está diseñado para administración de negocios prácticamente, pero en inglés. Eh, les decía que yo estudié un técnico de administración de empresas industriales y eso prácticamente es enseñanza en la práctica. So, yo fui de todo en una empresa. Empecé desde auxiliar de bodega, luego fui bodeguero. Después auxiliar de, de producción, después fui jefe de producción, auxiliar de jefe de línea, después fui el jefe de línea y así fui. Tenía 22, 23 años y me encantó, de verdad. Lo que sí no me gustó fue la contabilidad. Eso sí, no. La mate financiera un poco. Y <ríe> it is like, what? Really? <ríe> Correct. Um, no sé por qué. Nunca me gustó. Era muy desorganizado quizá. Hoy no. Hoy ya tengo 39 años. Casi los 40. Y pues las cosas cambian. So, a little. Oh my God, really? What? I don't know about that. Yeah. Fui gerente de, de, de una academia y eso me educó de por vida. Tener personal bajo tu cargo es una gran responsabilidad. Y sentir que el negocio es tuyo. Eso es muy importante. Como empleado, sentir que el negocio es tuyo. Does this ring any bell? Vamos a hacer una pequeña introducción. Market introduction. Ahí hablaba Erwin de eso. Que es bellísimo, es hermoso. Romperte el lomo durante, según los expertos, los primeros dos, cuatro seis años, dependiendo del rubro de mercado en el que trabajes o en el que te metas, porque esto es iniciar un negocio, podría ser un nuevo producto ok, market introduction si es un nuevo producto de tu empresa pues ya tienen experiencia y solo estás creando una nueva línea de producto ok, introducirlo al mercado growth ver a tu bebé crecer caerse levantarse Salir con raspones y quizás está mejorado a veces, ¿no? Porque de la experiencia. So, decline. Ver que le hacen mala cara a tu producto, a tu negocio. Y todo se va al hoyo ¿eh? otra vez. Pero no tiras la toalla. Y te volvés a levantar. Y te lo vuelven a rechazar. Entonces venís y seguís con el bendito feasibility study. you remember? ¿Se acuerdan del estudio de factibilidad en módulo pasado? ¿Sí? Ver por qué, qué es lo que está fallando, por qué no me está haciendo factible ese producto. Y entonces ya maduras. ¿Ok? Maduras, aprendes a manejar el producto, a entender los pros y los contras en los que te has metido en ese nicho de mercado y lo sacas adelante. So, that's basically it, but let's look at the introduction. ¿Ok? Introduction. What is the PLC, the product life cycle meaning? We only have three minutes. I need a good reader. I need a good reader. A volunteer. Say I. <laughs> Excellent. <Hi>. Go, go. <laughs> All products have certain length of life during which they pass through certain ident identifiable stages. The PLC is a conceptual represent, representation of product aging process. Like your life is divided into stages, same as life of a product is also divided. Products start with introduction of in the market for the purpose of sale. The demand of that product is gradually increased in the market and it reached to its maximum from where it starts decline. It is effective lifespan of a product. <laughs> Great job, Heidi. Thank you. Okay. And as usual, new words. Certain, certain, length, length. Remember what we said about the TH? All products have certain length of life during which they pass through certain identifiable, identifiable stages identifiable stages. The product life cycle is a conceptual, conceptual representation of product aging process. I'm aging. Are you aging? I'm aging. Okay, We're, we all go there. Like your life is divided into stages. Same as life 
of a product is also divided. So the same way you start your life, you go through the difficulties and everything, you race again. Then around 30, I think, around 30, between 25 and 35 is the best of your life. And then you start the decline stage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's the same thing. It's, it's, it's a good topic. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. Don't miss your classes. This is very important. I know, teacher, tomorrow is Friday and the body knows it. No, it's Friday and you have an English class from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., okay? Or shall we have the class at La Herradura tomorrow? What do you say? Yeah. My God, yeah, really? I agree with you. <laughs> no, guys. No, no, no. COVID, COVID is around there, guys. So, no. <laughs> Okay. It's virtual. It's that virtual. It's a perfect topic for, for William. I don't mm -hmm. know why. I don't know why. No, me neither. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's go. I'm staying with Ada Susena tonight. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Thank you. Alexander Thank you. de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Alexander here? No? Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Erwin Gracias. Lagos Andrade. Presente. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Excelente. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present teacher. Good night, Werder Mauricio Reyes Argen, Angel. Present teacher. Thank you, good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Alan Christopher Abreu Brizuela. Present, see you. See you, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Good night. Good night. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, Doc. How are you, Doc? Uh, more or less teacher. <laughs> Why? What's going on? I am six. Yes. I am six. There's the uh, jueves de la semana pasada. Since Thursday last week, you're sick. Yes. What's yes, going teacher. on? What's going uh, on? Una, una Oh my problema God. Es una, un problema de una, yo padezco de problemas alérgicos, soy hiperreactor y se complicó con una rinitis, la otitis y no me, ha, no me ha revisado todavía el otorrino porque tenía moco y como con el problema de COVID ahorita no se puede ver, pero sí pasó unos días horribles porque tengo todavía problemas con el, con el oído izquierdo. Pero no ha habido fiebres ni nada, más que todo el problema ah, nasal. Ah. Nasal, el dolor. Eh, es como todo. Everything is connected, Ajá. right? Todo está conectado. Ajá, todo, 
todo frontal, vea, entonces tengo ahorita, me he cambiado el antibiótico el lunes, voy para 15 días de antibiótico. Entonces, he estado durmiendo ahí con las perritas porque pues, evitar, o sea, por, por mis padres y las niñas, vea. Pero no, no es COVID, o sea, es, es una infección. No, pues sí, pero por... ¿Cómo, por, ¿cómo llegó la infección al oído? Por precaución. Lo que pasa es que fíjese que cada vez que salgo de cirugía me baño. Entonces son varias bañadas al día. Y quiera eso no, el cuerpo a veces está un poco más caliente, ¿verdad? Entonces se va acumulando todo eso. Pero es que una otitis, que una otitis es una uh, bacteria en el oído salvo sí, que no haya, salvo que no haya llegado por ahí probablemente eh, eh, cuando tenemos una infección nasal uh -huh. y nos sonamos el moco lo tiramos a los oídos por la fuerza con que lo hacemos ah pues sí o es que a mí solo un una vez de... solo una vez me ha dado eh, otitis al, pero lo que, horrible los que nadan también tienen frecuentes problemas de otitis eh, también el, el, algún, digamos en alguna bañada que haya, caído, que haya quedado agua en el, en el conducto puede haber provocado una otitis. Sí, Pero claro. sí, ya ahorita, gracias a Dios, eh, creo que me ha dado chance de medio recuperarme porque ya me siento mejor, ya no tengo moco ni nada. Pero sí estaba preocupada porque como ahorita no sabemos cómo va a debutar el COVID, ¿verdad? Pueden ser síntomas diferentes. Y como hay un montón de contradicción con, con lo relacionado a la vacuna, ¿verdad? Porque no quieren ponerse la gente combinada a la vacuna. Sí, es que como... Ese, plan, que sí. Ese es el plan, combinarlo, pero ahorita no hay evidencia de esa combinación. Entonces no, no, vamos va. a hacer... Pues lo que pasa es que están poniendo la en teoría, la, la, la de más eh, seguridad es la Pfizer y AstraZeneca, ¿verdad? Pero el problema es que al adulto mayor lo vacunaron con, con Sinovac y le quieren meter AstraZeneca, que es la que ya da mayores síntomas. Uh -huh. Entonces, teóricamente tenemos un virus atenuado que se puede reactivar con AstraZeneca. Uh -huh. Los adultos mayores con problemas de crónicos, entonces puede ser algo que se va a disparar también. Porque los casos ahorita que supuestamente están mayormente ingresando al Salvador son pacientes que se vacunaron con Sinovac. Ay, no. Mi comadre está ahorita en el Hospital del Salvador porque no estaba oxigenando. Está oxigenando hasta en 72, 80. Volví a bajar a 72. Y de repente, pues, Rosario le metió un montón de medicamentos. Entre toda la comunidad estuvimos que un de medicamentos y oxigenadores, eh, diluyentes de sangre, todo eso. Hasta que optamos sí, por pasarle complicado. plasma, hasta que le pusieron plasma, pero ya cuando le ingresaron al hospital El Salvador ayer en la mañana, ya, ya iba oxigenando a 90 y ya la conectaron y todo, y ya les, uh, ayer le cumplieron plasma, creo, y ahora, entonces. Pero está conectada y ese es el detalle, el, el, el hecho de que lo conecten ya es un mal pronóstico la mayoría de veces entonces sí. eso es lo que hay que evitar pero lastimosamente somos algo de desobedientes en algún momento hemos bajado las medidas porque Mucha todas gente. las infecciones Mucha que, gente. Sí. Eso que sí llegan a nosotros es porque estamos bajando nuestras medidas ¿verdad? tenemos cuatro Ahora, minutos tell me sí, esto, no sé eh, qué podemos ahí porque sí me gustaría poder eh, participar más, hablar más, no sé qué podría usted recomendarme reforzar ahí, porque sí, eh, quiero hacerlo, realmente hoy voy a tratar de, 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 de aunque, me, aunque pierda tal vez tiempo, pero sí, por lo menos si yo estoy ocupada, voy a tratar de estar aunque esté oyendo la clase, a mí me sirve mucho escucharlo, aunque no esté presente así, por la cámara, ¿verdad? Pero ¿He sí, estado descansando no sé qué, por qué, esta qué. enfermedad? No. no. Ahí me ha tocado bien pesado. He estado cirugía de noche. Mm, no, señor. lo que pasa es que cuando yo me mediqué, me automediqué, no se complicó la cosa. ¿Verdad? Y yo cuando media cosita, yo, yo mantengo en mi casa todo, hasta todas las hierbas de curandero, porque nos tocó actuar así, pues, ¿verdad? Todas las hierbas y todos los tejavidos y por haber. 
y nos hemos quedado con esa costumbre que al final nos van a ayudar. Definitivamente. De, de... Hay una, uh -huh, pero... una cosita María como que es tecomate. No me acuerdo cómo es que se llama. A la chichigua. Chichigua, cabal. Que se la usan para los moquitos a la gente. Dicen que es bueno eso. A los eso. bebés. Mi esposa de niña sufría. La niña del gorrito le decían, porque solo con gorro pasaba. Era, uh, padecía mucho de sinusitis. Y eso la curó. No se la curó. Era, por... Era alérgica. A ver, este, ¿qué puedo hacer para alcanzar el nivel que necesito? Practicar que voy a practicar todos los días solo un tiempo gramatical ahorita, ahorita le recomendaría que se clave con la estructura esta del presente perfecto uh -huh. ahí están las tablitas en el whatsapp practique, haga, sí, un par de, sí. haga un par de oraciones y luego cree preguntas usando el presente perfecto ¿qué preguntas puedo okay. utilizar? Ticha? a las que hablan de su, ex, su experiencias recientes experiencias uh -huh. pasadas que aún afectan el presente. Um, how long, how long have you worked as a doctor? How long have you worked as a doctor? ¿Cuánto tiempo has uh -huh. trabajado como doctor? I have worked as a doctor for all my life. I graduated. Oh, I have worked as a doctor for all my life. Eso es presente perfecto. Y luego me pasó el pasado. I started, I started uh, learning at the university, I don't know, 20 years ago, and then I graduated in 19, da, da, da. yay, voy hablando okay. en pasado. Los verbos también he estado repasando porque siento que hay a veces en los cambios, vea, ahí hay un poco de, de confusión porque hay verbos como, nos quedamos ya las últimas clases con usted, eh, y en los tres tiempos que usted los, 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 los eh, conjuga, siempre uh -huh. casi vienen sonando igual, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, pero siento, me, 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 lo, aquí tengo la tablita, yo saco todas las copias que usted manda. Bien, pero Adita, que... Adita, basémonos en esto, mira, en la tarea, uh -huh. la dieta, ¿ok? Agarre un verbo, agarre una palabra y entonces aplicamos el presente perfecto. Aquí sería, uh -huh. she has worked. She uh -huh. has worked in the morning schedule. Ella uh -huh. ha trabajado en el horario de la mañana. Aquí ya puedo agregarle uh -huh. incluso for 10 years. She uh -huh. hasn't, ya no ocupo doesn't, sino que she hasn't worked, agregó el del verbo, she hasn't worked in the morning schedule. Uh -huh. Y aquí como sería, has she worked in the morning schedule? Uh -huh. Y así voy. Yeah. Ok, teacher, perfecto. Ok, just practice. That's all. Cualquier... Sí, sí. Algunas canciones también. Eh, hay unos links en internet que lo ponen hasta repetir la, las estrofas de las canciones. Hay canciones muy bonitas que uno no sabía ni qué significaban. Y ya al oírlo, y uno las empieza a cantar, ya le haya sentido hasta la canción. Correct, ¿verdad? porque oído sí tiene, oído sí tiene, yo lo sé, pero hay que agarrar la gramática de nuevo y aferrarse a eso e intentarlo, intentarlo. Yo no le voy a, 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 okay. a reprimir en la clase por decirle no, no hable, no, al contrario, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, okay. thank you. Good, Good night, evening. dog, take care, que siga mejor. Gracias. Bye -bye.